Ammar from the US. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sheikh Hassan. Wa alaikum assalam wa barakatuh. Sheikh, I need your hikmah today. I, I'll try to keep this as short as possible, but I think I need a whole counseling session with you, but... You have I, like 20 seconds before we conclude the whole episode, so I don't know if you're going to yani, be able to do this or not. I got you. I was in a really bad motorcycle wreck, and alhamdulillah, it brought me closer to Islam. I pray now and stay close to my family and... My only issue is I'm partially paralyzed on the right side and I can't sometimes feel if after I make wudu or later in the day if a drop of urine comes out. I only find out later at night when I change into my nightly clothes. I smell my pants a little bit and then I find out, okay, these pants are no longer clean, but it makes me think, are my prayers during the day valid? Okay. Uh, may Allah Azza wa Jal cure your illness and restore your health. First of all, you do not feel guilty over things that you have no recollection of or control. Allah is the most forgiving, most merciful, subhanahu wa ta'ala, ghafoorun rahim. So you do not deal with Allah Azza wa Jal other than His mercy and forgiveness. Secondly, Things you don't know of, Allah will not hold you accountable. Thirdly, we do not go and smell our underwear or pants. This is not realistic. This is not hygienic. This is not Islamic. You see traces of urine, so be it. You don't see it, it doesn't exist. I don't have to bring magnifying glass or take it to the lab to check it up. I don't see it, it doesn't exist. Move on. Your wudu... You've done the best of your ability. This is what Allah wants from you, so move on. Life is easy. Islam is a religion of ease and simplicity. Don't make it a religion of hardship and difficulty.